everyone! Welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I have an art unboxing to do. Now this was supposed to, this particular thing was supposed to come um, before Christmas. I, um, I did Jazz's Kickstarter for his bags and I ordered the fully loaded bags. Uh, the set of two plus the art supplies that um, the art supply kits that he's put together for to go with these bags to get you rolling and started down the road. I went ahead and opened the box because I was like, I didn't order anything. And literally just today on, I don't even know what date it is, the 13th, February 13th, got the email saying they were shipping these out and mine arrived today. I haven't even gotten the tracking number in the mail, in my emails yet. And I also have another box of art supplies that came surprisingly um, from my patron Barbara to unpack with you as well. So let's get to it. Um, let's unpack Barbara's box first and then we'll do this one because this one um, I've been waiting for it for a long time and it uh, yeah hold on one sec let me go grab Barbara's box. Okay so as you can see this box came and I was like who is this from? Why am I getting another box? Because I've been trying to be really good about only ordering things that I need to make the things that I want to make <coughs> and utilizing all other supplies that I already have and Astrid and Heather were in the room with me when I opened the box and then Heather, Astrid was like oh, what's in there? Can, can, can I see too? Can I? So we went through the box together but I thought we would go through it, I would go through it with you guys as well. Um, she is thrilled about the Faber-Castell gel sticks. She cannot wait to use these. Her mother bought her a bunch of um, <clears throat> tiny square canvases, a, a pack of like 20 of them, and she's gonna, they're going to use these later today on on those. And then, um, yeah, so these are really, really nice. I have gel sticks um, that Astrid loves. So these are going to be, and I've been trying, I've been fighting with her to leave my gel sticks alone. Um, and uh, these are going to be her own little lipstick gel sticks. These are nice. Um, and they come with a little paintbrush, so she'll be thrilled about that. Uh, she hasn't looked in the box yet. She, I just, I know that these are meant for her. And then we have more gel sticks in here. Little crayon ones. And acrylic paints, which my daughter was thrilled about. Um, she and I share the acrylic paint situation. Um, she loves acrylic paints. I'm hit and miss about them. I use them for like under paintings and um, if I want a grungy look on the background or something, I'll do that with acrylic paints and a medium to make them dry flat and matte. Um, but yeah, so this and then this and then there's a beautiful set of Holbein acrylic gouache. Um, this is gorgeous, brand new. We, we are helping Barbara unload her, her art supplies, and we are grateful, grateful, grateful. Um, this is a gorgeous set. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't wait. Astrid had already gotten these. She was just, just beyond excited. These are Creative Color, um, the big fat pencils. These are so fun to use, you guys. Um, they, they are very nice pencils, Creative Color, Mega Colors, and she's this blue and the pink the two pinks she was scribbling yesterday they got in these right away so these are mine though these <laughs> she's got to share these ones with me I have to get a pencil sharpener big enough to sharpen those puppies with and then oh yeah my art <laughs> this will be in an upcoming video my scrawler box my scrawler box box came I forgot about that that's too much stuff all at once. I'm overstimulated, you guys. Um, I'm saving all of the bubble wrap because that's what I do. All right, and we have... Could you... No? All right, let's move this over here. We also have this really cool palette. I'm super excited. I'm going to fill it up with either... I'm going to fill it up with um, watercolors because I can put watercolor here and use the little pans to mix color in and then use the top of this. This is exciting. 
and it magnets. Isn't that nice? And it has a little sleeve, a little pouch that I can put it in and slide it right in my, my new travel bags that we got from Jazz. I'm so excited. And then uh, more oil pastels. I just did an oil pastel painting, Barbara. I love these. These are the Caran d'Ache oil pastels. They're so beautiful. Look at all these colors. And they're going in my stash. Um, I am an oil color pastel um, fanatic. I have uh, Mungio. I have Mungio water soluble, not water soluble. Extra Mungio whites. <coughs> and oil pastel. Where did water go? Now I have Caran d'Ache and I have the, the um, Oh, it's Paul. I just had them out yesterday. I want to say Paul Newman, but that's not right. <laughs> um, these guys. Uh, Rubens. Paul Rubens, not Paul Newman. I don't <laughs> I have this set as well. Um, so these are going in the stash because I use up my oil pastels. They are getting... They're getting, they're getting used and abused. This oh, and I have some Elias as well that Barbara passed on to me, and those are dreamy. <coughs> so those go in there, and then there's a couple, couple last little things. Some cool little palettes. I, I love these palettes. They are so handy, and we have little samples of paints in here, and I will, I will utilize these. I will. There's a little chip there. What one are you? Mystery. I think it goes in there. Someone fell out. That's okay. I'll clean them up. Not a big deal. And this palette is so nice. I love these palettes. Um, they're... Oops, I just did that again. They're very handy. I was thinking about buying a couple more um, a couple days ago, and I don't have to. And this is a Winsor Newton one. Um, and there are... Can't even believe it. Windsor Newton paints up here. Not even open. Super excited about that. We have a couple, oops, of, she's got these labeled as Jackson's. Um, Prussian blue, which is one of my favorite colors. And then sap green in Jackson's as well. Also one of my favorite colors. So thank you, Barbara. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And one of the most exciting things for me in the box, not that any of it wasn't not exciting because I'm thrilled, is this. This is gorgeous. Um, look at that little key. I love this. I cannot wait to use this. Cannot wait. Look at look at the paper in here. This is one of those handmade um, <clears throat> handmade uh, by this person uh, art journals. Look, look. I have some of this paper, Barbara. I just registered that. I have some of this paper. I, I was feeling it yesterday. I was like, it's so familiar. I'm so excited. Look at all the colors. <laughs> With their dyed different colors. Isn't that pretty? I'm so excited to do like landscapes and oh, to just draw and paint. And oh, this look, it's just beautiful. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I love art supplies. So this was really beautiful, generous, generous, amazing, um, pay it forward kind of thing, Barbara. Thank you so, so much. Um, very excited and I totally was not expecting this to come as quickly as it did. Um, so yeah. So there's all that stuff from Barbara. Um, and the girls are super excited and said thank you as well. Uh, Of course, Astrid doesn't quite fathom the, the stuff, but you know, you know little kids. She was beyond excited. The little, <gasps> oh, can I look at that, Nana? Can I? Can I? And then this is, um, these are the bags uh, that I ordered from Jazza. So this is the small one. And... 
Then we have the bag of art supplies. And then we have the big bag. And the box. Oh, oh, and there's more stuff on the bottom. There's the inserts. Oh, geez. Um, I want to move the box out of the way because it's just in the way. So, <clears throat> we got, first and foremost, we got the bags. Th those, those were the most amazing parts for me because I intend to be doing some traveling this year and I intend to be doing um, a lot of, uh, oh cool, look at that, it's super fun, very cute, I believe he did a, um, a poll on what, <clears throat> what art was to be created to add in and it's a signed print uh, of his art which is fun thank you um i'll have to find a spot to hang that up but there was a poll on the kickstarter uh as to ideas for that um so that piece of art so that's why it, it is that particular like dragon with jazz's avatar and fellow artists all carrying the, their weapons into battle. These are packaged really nice. Oh, this is a fun to save drawstring bag for future endeavors. Oh, it smells good. So this is the... Oh, this is so nice. Oh, this is so luxury. This is nice. I am in heaven. Got a little Jazza um, piece of like dry cloth. I use that for my glasses all the time. I'm always in forever looking for. Look at the zippers. I mean, I know he gushed over the details of this bag. Um, but I'm I'm a stickler for these kinds of things on on bags that I want would like to use um, because metal zippers are so much nicer and last so much longer than um, the plastic ones and all of the clips and fully rotating so nice I like the rounded and the this color this color is dreamy. Um, just and there's straps there's straps so you can make it into a backpack so that's what these are these are your backpack straps and then there's your shoulder strap so we have our, our beautiful shoulder strap also with fully adjustable with these gorgeous clips that match the zippers oh dreamy i'm gonna set those aside because i'm probably gonna do the shoulder bag for local travel and then um, the backpack if, if I take the bag like on a long plane ride. So, th and this is perfect for a plane ride. Oh, there's an insert in here already. Oh, we got additional inserts. I forgot about that. We got additional inserts for, and this is for the fully loaded bags. Um, I ordered the set of two and I didn't care if the, the covers the like the covers matched I either wanted the the black or the Prussian blue was my choice my first two choices and uh, after those two was the red um, so we'll see what I got in the um, and I like being surprised I don't mind if they they don't match so we have inserts these are for pencils colored pencils and markers so yeah super nice that's awesome I'll set those up here for now all right and then this bag has the large insert or interior with I mean it's it's big it's it's big it's good two inches two and a half inches a nice zipper pouch back there and even this zipper is nice it's plastic, but the clasp matches this up here. This feels metal, but it might be plastic. So there's that pouch with that little insert in it. 
And I like the magnetic snaps, right? Those are magnetic snaps. I gotta try. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. And then there's this, this area here. Cell phone, most likely for me. I will zip it to there and put, put the cell phone there. And then there's this pouch here. Which, oh, this is fantastic. These are roomy pouches too. They're nice and there's lots of room to tuck all your stuff in. And look at that. I love that so much. And then each side has a um, water bottle. And he made it so that his water bottle would actually fit in there. So that's cool. So we know it'll actually work. And then another magnetic snap pouch in the back. Which is amazing. And then there's your clips for the backpack straps. Yeah. And then the pistol resistance the stitched handle on the top. How great is that? And I forgot there's another zip area back here for like oh that's oh that's nice for your laptop or your drawing tablet and it is fabric. It's soft. This is padded. Padded. Yeah, it's fully padded to protect your your gear. Oh, that's awesome. Cuz I do intend to bring my drawing tablet with me when I do my long my longer trips. Okay, so that's the big bag. And then this is the smaller bag. And I'm totally keeping these these white bags. Oh, those will come in handy. Ooh. This one I was super excited for daily use. This is gonna be my new daily use backpack. Oh, look at the little jazz thing. It's so cute. It's such a cute little touch that I love. I don't know why it excites me. Oh, look at this. So I got a matched black set, which is amazing. Also has the little handle, the back slide pouch, very deep all the way down. Lots of room, again, very roomy bag. And this one too comes with the, you can make it into a shoulder bag, you can carry it like this. And there's the, the hooks for um, making it into a backpack. Also has two water bottle holders, one on each side. And then I'm gonna have to peel off these little protective stickers. And here we have another insert. So this would actually probably fit in here. Maybe not with that. Once it's full, it might not. Um, oh, my nose tickles. And if you don't want to use it for inserts, you can take the inserts out. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's get back into this bag. Um, uh, I think I was here. Um, this insert is meant more for big markers or larger, larger paintbrushes could possibly fit in there if you have those ones that cap. Um, but once again, if I don't want to use this, I can take that out. And this is a very roomy pouch. Nice and roomy. Um, and then we have our big interior pouch, which has our straps in it to make, which are the same as the other straps, these beautiful buckles. Um, once again, two straps for making it into a little mini backpack, which I may do with the small one. Um, and then the shoulder strap, if I want to carry it crossbody, I'll probably roll this up and tuck it in the bag. Or you can attach them all as well. You can attach all of them um, if you want to inside the main bag part of this bag is another couple um, but the base is nice and big I don't know if you can see that um, nice nice big base in the bottom lots of room we have um, another zipper pouch back here which goes about halfway down the bag for <clears throat> additional supplies nice and deep I could fit a really um, actually the tools that I have right now to carry in my bag will fit in here really nicely 
and then like my wallet can go back there or in here and yeah we can just be on the go so there's the bags and they're just I mean they're beautiful they're they're beyond expectation um just I love the mat this matte gray color and the black yeah and the stitching is gorgeous yeah I'm 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 a, I'm digging it I'm digging it. I love all the stitching and if you like patches which I do I love patches this thing is going to be covered in patches both of them so I'm on the hunt for beautiful patches to add to my bags so there's those and then as far as the fully loaded goes it it also came with the uh you saw the print it also came with the extra ooh, um, inserts, which is amazing because I have so many colored pencils and markers to pick and choose from. And then again, the cool print, the cool, cool print. And then, see, I was so hoping, so, so hoping I would get the watercolor. Um, so once again, totally keeping the mesh bag. I was so hoping I would get the watercolor supplies because that is my jam. And it looks like that is possibly what I got. Um, oh, that's cool. The Kickstarter exclusive keychain. Uh, I'm probably going to just attach this to the bag. Um, Attention to detail. The thank you for your support has made this dream into a reality. Now head out on your artistic journey. Cute. Digging it. I'm probably just going to hook this onto the bag somewhere. Um, it's a little, it's a little less impressive. Then um, I want it to be. I have other nicer um, jewelry hooks, which I will use. This is cute. It's it's not the be all end all, but it is cute. Um, <coughs> more up my alley and impressive for me is the art supplies. I've been wanting one of these for a while. These, this is fun. I'm having a blast. I love art supplies so much. I was really, really hoping I was getting this for Christmas, but this timing is fine for me because I bought this for me for Christmas. Um, this was one of my my big presents for me. I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to go through this pile of supplies that we're getting. So this is one of those puck cups, those collapsible cups. It has a lid, which is amazing. Um, yeah, super cute. But you can use this for water as well. If you didn't want to open this up, you could just use this little little lid as a um yeah, and if it's full of water, you can just pop the lid on and put it in your cup holder in your bag or in your um car. But yeah, this is fun. I've wanted one of these for a while. The little collapsible travel cups. And then these, I don't know that I would travel with these anywhere, but it's fun to have them in my stash. I will add them to <coughs> what I already own, because I do have um, the Marabou. Ooh. This is a super tight fit. Come on. There we go. Okay. Pull you out of there. Uh, black speedball calligraphy ink um, actually will come in handy on a future project that I have. <coughs> These will, <coughs> will as well. Sorry. This cough. I'm going to need more water. I'll be right back. Okay, so, so far we have our cup and some Marabou Aqua inks. I don't have this color, do I? Vermilion, I do not. I have Carmine and Tutu. Yep, I have I have the yellow already, but I don't have Vermilion. 
um, <coughs> I really can't go wrong with those because they are a great addition to the, the situation. These, I believe, are Stedler. I don't say Stedler. Oh, they say a pigment liner on them. Um, I'm not running low, but a couple of mine are drying out really bad. So these are a great addition. I'll probably pop these right in the bag so that I have new pens to put in the bag. We have water-based, water-resistant pigment liners. Well, like any other liner, right? And this brand is really good. Um, we got an 04, an 06, and a brush, and an 01. The brush is fairly firm, which is not my favorite. I prefer a, um, a more bendy brush. Um, and then this is the O1, which is very, very tiny. Um, but so there's our liners. Very excited. I do line and watercolor all the time, so this is amazing for me. Peerless Transparent Watercolors. Oh. Oh. I won't use these out and about. Um, they're too messy. I'm too messy. These aren't. I am. I'm a disaster. When the, I will probably tear these out and use these um, for um, other projects. I find this kind of setup to be very, um, what do you call it? Messy. Because I want to use this color, um, and then I want to use this color, and then I want to use this color, and these will all stick together. They do have a finish on them, so they might not. It's a light, light finish. But um, they're fun. We'll swatch them for sure. There's an amazing group of colors here. And then there's the back, which is coated gently. So you could use this as a mixing medium. You, these also are perforated, so you could tear them out. Yeah, you can tear them out if you want to. Let me see. What do we what do we have to say? Peerless Transparent Watercolors, the self-blending colors, complete edition. Uh, Nicholas Pearson's Transparent Watercolors, manufactured only by Peerless Color Laboratories. Uh, for tinting and coloring photography. Yeah, I can hardly read this print. Perfectly transparent color is required. Um, oh, work of all kinds where perfectly transparent color is required for original art and rendering. The world famous self-blending watercolors. The original colors put up on films or paper leaflets. Huh, interesting. I mean, it's fun. Um, not something I will pop in my bag and bring with me because I'm a disaster when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, but I will use it in, in the studio. Then we have, ooh, Faber-Castell watercolor. A set of, what is a set of 12? Nice. I do love Faber-Castell. The brand is amazing. Um, I have Castle Arts watercolor pencils. I do not have any of the professional grade watercolor pencils. Um, oh, almost broke it. And it opens up. How nice. Comes with their flyer, of course. With all the information you could ever want about their stuff and whatnot. Both sides. Some um, practice, some words of wisdom and whatnot. Oh, these are nice. This is a decent set. A really good range of colors. From Jazza, he's always good about that kind of stuff. Getting, choosing colors that go well together for pretty much any artist. <coughs> Hexo hexagonal barrel, um, Gold Faber Aqua, made in Germany. Does not have the color name, but it has the color number, which is fine. Not something I really worry about when I'm using colored pencils, anyways. 
But yeah, that's awesome. Then a set of brushes. This is fantastic because I was just looking at buying another set of inexpensive brushes just to have on hand for um, that are not my watercolor brushes because I'm a little picky about my watercolor brushes. I don't want them damaged or hurt in any way. Okay, this is a nice set. Of course, they all have a little bit of um, fix on them, so um, that's okay. Um, the handles are a bit long for my liking, but that's all right as well. I can always snap them if I need to. Um, or I could get used to less control and work way out here, right? Um, but we have a beautiful... Uh, flat number two and we have a flat number six is that a flat yeah and we have <coughs> an angle brush a number four uh, we have a filbert these I like a filbert those are nice for different textures number eight and another flat which is a number ten once we get the sizing, that's the word I was looking for, out of these, they will be really nice. They have a decent snap. And this is this is a fun brush. This little angle, swoopy angle, rather than straight. Uh, number 12. And we've got some classic rounds, um, which are very always, and I was going to look at some smaller sized rounds as well. I don't really use a fan brush for anything ever, um, but I might. I, I just don't, I didn't bring any of my fan brushes with me, honestly. Um, and the rounds are in sizes 11, which, this is an 11? Why? 9, which feel, looks more like a six to me. Um, seven, which looks more like a four. I mean, and size is relative. I mean, I don't go but usually by the number anyways. I go by how it looks, what I want to use it for. And these all are very nice and have decent snap. What was the brand? Yeah, nothing I remember, nothing, for me, noteworthy. All kinds of sizes and shapes, it's always a perfect style, suitable for you. So yeah, just an inexpensive set of brushes. Um, not terribly impressive, but I mean, really nice addition to my stash of brushes. Perfect sizes for me, nothing too big. I have a couple big brushes. I don't need any more big ones. Now we got a bottle of ink, so yeah, I was expecting one of these. Oh, this is a glass one. I haven't used a glass one before. I've seen people struggle with them though. <laughs> um, has a little, I'm trying to get this little, there we go, protective sleeve off. Just do a white, um, spirally glass um, calligraphy pen. And I think that's what it's for. Um, it's come. We'll go with the speedball ink, and it'll be fun to to play with. I've never played with one of these before, so that's that's super cool. Um, a color would have been nice, like a pretty color. I understand that the. the just getting plain white was probably super cheap. The box is really nice. I'm, I'm a sucker for boxes, so I'll be saving that. And then we have Hanamula paper, which is a favorite of mine. The Hanamula watercolor paper. You can't go wrong. It's a great brand. Um, amazing paper. And I love my watercolor. Um, oh, there's a little, little bit of orange right there. I thought maybe there was a Terra. A way for me to get in it without destroying the paper, making a mess, which is my normal. 
I make a mess because I can. <laughs> Suddenly very Disney princess. I'd hit that high note, but I can't anymore. <laughs> As I've gotten older, my voice has gotten deeper and high notes are just not an option. I haven't trained my voice in a long time either, so. All right, here we go. Cold press matte. Is this a block? <gasps> Ooh, fun, fun, fun. I haven't had blocks in a long time. How exciting. What is this mark here? There is a block. Oh, I see. The corner here is where you... Okay, usually there's a little opening in the middle. Um, but for this, it is right here to take the, the paper off the block. So we have, I have a block of 12 sheets in 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. Nice. This is going to be fun. I'm going to tuck this in my bag for sure. Um, and then these suckers, these puppies, I like that sleeve. These are, um, I don't know what brand. No, um, just watercolor. I'm assuming watercolor brush pens. Very plain. No, no marketing on here whatsoever. Color, name, nothing. So we just have a set of those with a watercolor. I don't use these, but I, I probably would with this set <coughs> for mixing. I'm gonna get in the habit of trying these uh, um, brush pens. Um, I mean, it's a nice set of stuff. I was expecting a bit more quality, but. Um, the bag is what I was after, honestly. The watercolor supplies were just an, uh, a happy addition, and I am glad I did get watercolor supplies and not um, acrylics or, or anything else. I forgot the other things that other people could possibly get with their sets. Um, I mean, this is nothing to sneeze at, right? This is a nice collection of art supplies. <coughs> I'm not going to say anything negative, but other than the word, uh, really? Because in the wrapping, it looks expensive, but then you get it in the hand and you're like, um, I mean, I love the concept. Super fun. And I will hang it on the bag. I'm going to have to get something stronger than this plastic right here to hold it on to the bag with. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, so this is the the stuff. This is the stuff, you guys. Um, and honestly, um, I'm gonna say something. I have seen Jazza do some uh, amazing art. I mean, with markers. I mean, amazing art with markers. And this looks like a rushed marker piece. Like he just, he, he's super busy and he really just did not have the time to do a crazy amazing art piece for this project. And I know that he's been super busy, but, um, yeah, it's cute. It's cute, but, uh, I was expecting a bit more caliber, you know, upper caliber of art from him um so yeah I, i'll probably hang it somewhere for a little while i, I might stick it in my stash of, of other arts that i had, don't have hung up yet but yeah that's that's it the most amazing part of all of this is the bags the, and i will keep all the mesh bags as well <coughs> can't have enough bags Okay, for me, the bags are top-notch, great quality, exactly what I was looking for for travel bags for me, for traveling around, um, going on art retreats, uh, 
definitely going to be my daily bag for out and about. I don't like a lot of pockets and pouches. I'm not a big pockets and pouches purse kind of girl. Um, I don't really like carrying a purse. It really irritates me. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I can put my big sketch. Let's just pop this in there. And actually, that palette is in the stuff that... Um, that fits in there perfectly. That's in the stuff that um, Barbara gave me, that little snap together palette. That'll be perfect for in here. Um, these are going to be perfect for in here. I will never ever carry um, this kind of stuff in a bag. Uh, mostly because I'm a disaster and I know me. <laughs> This will end up everywhere in there. So these will go in the in in the stash over here with the the other ones. Their other friends. Um and this will stay in the studio. This is not something I would ever take out of the studio. Um it is pretty. It's cute. It'll go up here with my other one. And the box I will probably um put with my other boxes. These I'll put in my bag. <coughs> if nothing else for fun. Just to see what they'll do. I'll take them out of here and put them in one of these. Right? Will they fit? Yes, they will. Put them in one of these sleeves and just tuck the sleeve in the bag. Put these in the sleeve and tuck the sleeve in the bag can take the colored pencils out of their little box because that I mean the boxes are nice don't get me wrong but this is better for me this is better because is this the same width that it is here's the problem with this see it'll have to be out like that huh Interesting. Let me. Oh, it fits in there nicely. All right. As long as the tip of the pencil can be protected, we can do this. We can do this. And that is a snug fit. That is going nowhere. Once it's in there, it's in there. And then when you're out and about, I do have my other out and about pouch for that sits right on the table. I might just add these to that. We'll see. Um, these sleeves are nice if you're traveling and you want to be able to bring a lot of supplies in a very compact way. Um, so any art retreats that I go, go on, if I want to bring a plethora of art supplies with me, <coughs> Say I'm going to be gone for a month. And I don't mean a paid art retreat. I mean just a me art retreat. Getting out of the house, paying for a cabin up by Leavenworth, and um, up by Leavenworth, and that's too tight for these. I don't dig that. Okay. That's too tight for that. And these are way too loose, but for me they'd work because I don't want to have to fight to get my stuff out of a holder and the little caps. I mean, if they have to, they can do that. Not something that I would worry about. But yeah, these are for, for me, these are for... Um, travel like on a plane or if you're doing long distance travel and you don't want to bring boxes with you like your colored pencil box you just tuck all your colored pencils on one of these I also have one that I that rolls up that um I put most of my colored pencils that I'm gonna bring with me with me in that and roll it up and it takes up this much space so yeah <coughs> but overall super fun great bag 
Um, and all of your little stuff will fit right in here. If I wanted to bring this, I could tuck that in there. Paint brushes. Could technically tuck them all in one of these and slide them in the bag if you wanted to. I don't carry my brushes that way. Not something I would ever, ever do. These are just gonna get washed and put in my stash up there for in the studio. <coughs> but yeah, the bags are it for me. Let me know what you think of the haul. What are your high points <laughs> for the haul? <coughs> do you use these? Like my son might use these. My, my kids might use them. Not something I'm really, mm, not something I'm really down with, but it's personal preference. A lot of people really love these sleeves and they, they really look, are probably looking forward to having them, but my kids will use them for sure. I'm a tins kind of girl. Tins are a cup. I mean, a cup any day for all my pencils to stand in. The tins are usually empty and on a shelf until I'm moving somewhere. I do reuse all my tins for moving for sure. Yeah, so I need to repack, reconfigure, and reorganize my travel bag. I'm so excited. <coughs> Super excited. All right, guys, I will um, see you in the next video. Let me know what you think of Jazz's bags. Would you have paid almost $400 for them? Um, for me, it was a super splurge, Merry Christmas to me present, desperately wanted them, desperately had to have them. I'm hoping this cover will become, and it is, I believe, vegan leather. I'd have to look on, um, um, but I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this breaking down and being, feeling relaxed and used and, you know, less fresh. Can't wait for that to happen. And to sew some patches on here. And on the back it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great um yeah so let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video bye